This is normally the part of the video where I would tell the YouTube auditor to go fuck themselves sideways with a rusty pair of pliers, but these fuck sticks have been jacking up my videos lately, so I'm not gonna say how the auditors are really just wasted sperm that should have ended up in a napkin or a tip of a condom. No, 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 I'm not gonna say it. In the meantime, I'm doing this video with an extremely nasty cough, and every time I laugh, I end up coughing, so I'm gonna keep that shit to a minimum in this video because I'm tired of hacking up alone. Anyways, two years ago today, this very day, January 31st, I stopped playing Call of Duty. It was exactly two years ago that I took Modern Warfare 3 out of my console and I only returned it to play on two special occasions and I didn't come back to the series until Ghost released this year. And as many of you know, I had all intentions of skipping Ghost had it not been for the free copy that I have. So this video is gonna be a little different from anything I've ever done as it's gonna look back on the best damn decision I have made when it comes to video games. Those of you curious enough, or those of you who never saw the video, can return to about a year ago when I did my video about the break I had planned on taking. Initially, the break was only going to be for a few weeks or months or so. It was with all intentions of returning to Modern Warfare 3, but that shit just wasn't happening. By the time I left Call of Duty, I was already frustrated with the series enough that I had no intentions of ever really coming back. Now, let's flash back for a minute to that time. Because later in the video, I'm gonna talk about how history is going to repeat itself for a third time in the coming weeks. I left Modern Warfare 3 for two reasons. First reason is that Final Fantasy 13 2 was coming out. I wasn't too excited about that game because as I remember the last time Final Fantasy did a direct sequel to a numbered game, that shit was utterly horrifying. But it was Final Fantasy and it's almost impossible for me to say no. Final Fantasy 13 2 was released here in the US on February 1st. And it was my first game in my console since Modern Warfare 3. I played it for about a month. A month I absolutely regretted since that game was so fucking stupid. And by the time I finished the game, Another game was just on the horizon, SSX Deadly Descent. Anybody who played the SSX series and remembers SSX Tricky wanted that damn game. And oddly enough, the same day SSX came out was the same day Modern Warfare 3 released that first DLC garbage for PlayStation 3. I mean, what the fuck? Two maps or whatever the fuck it was with that monthly Elite DLC garbage. So I went back to Modern Warfare 3 that day, played a total of six games on the new maps that I prepaid for, didn't like it, lagged like a motherfucker, removed the disc, and went right back to SSX. Not more than two weeks later, a little known game called Mass Effect 3 came out, and that all but removed any desire for me to return to Modern Warfare 3. Other than the video I did for Mission Impossible, I never returned for Modern Warfare 3. Mass Effect 3 wasn't perfect, but it was a damn good game, and it was entertaining as fuck to play, so I stood with that for well over a year. After leaving Modern Warfare 3, I did another video explaining how Call of Duty had become my new sports game and why I was skipping Black Ops 2. In that video, I talked about how I used to buy sports games each year, like Madden, NHL, NBA, whatever the fuck it was, and each year, shit didn't change too much. I was spending money on roster updates and never really felt like shit was changing, so, I made the decision to start skipping sports games each year. Don't buy Madden every year, buy it every other year. Don't buy MLB The Show each year, skip a year and come back to the game a year later. That was my logic and it worked out beautifully for years. I applied that to Call of Duty and made the choice not to buy Black Ops 2 and can say that was probably the second best damn decision I made when it came to video games. Fact of the matter was, I was burned out on Call of Duty and I got tired of it. I'm sure many of you guys watching probably feel the same exact way after playing a series for so long, where a new one comes out each and every year, it gets boring, it gets stale. It gets to the point that the annual release is no longer something you look forward to. Games like Assassin's Creed and Need for Speed do the same exact thing. Release a game each year and drive the franchise into the ground hoping people will continue to give money for it. It's the same thing that I think people should either start considering or have already started doing. I mean, let's face it. Call of Duty is not going to get back to the glory of Call of Duty 4. That idea is long gone and it's just not happening. What made Call of Duty 4 a favorite was the fact that it took everyone by surprise in how good an online game could be at the time. There's no surprise anymore. There's no element where a game is given the ability to exceed expectations. So naturally, people buy Call of Duty each year. They set their expectations higher and higher and walk away disappointed every single time. Each year, the complaints begin. The worst Call of Duty ever. This game is garbage. This game is horrible. Yet, they watch Call of Duty videos on the internet just to complain about it. There is no question people are burned out on this game. Instead of putting the game down to try something else different, they buy it knowing it's going to have flaws. I'll tell you right now, taking off those 22 months recharge my batteries for this game. I've made my opinions known about this game, it's an average game, but 
The biggest complaint I've had so far was always the connection issue on PlayStation 3. And so far, the game has drastically improved the connection problems. Does this game have lag? Of course it does. Does it have bullshit? Absolutely. But spending the time away from the game and going into the game knowing that we bullshit lessens the butthurt. Honestly, for those frustrated by the game, put it down. Walk away. The only way you're going to enjoy the series again is when you leave it for a while and return with the lowered expectations. If you think this game is going to get dramatically better, it's not. At best, Call of Duty is going to get incrementally better at things while still fucking up other elements. Taking breaks from this game and this series is what people need. You can't continue to play the same game over and over and over again and not get bored. You can't think that the more you play the game, the more you might be able to force yourself into liking it. Which brings me to my next point. I mentioned earlier that I've been having a bit of a streak going on. Around this time each year, I set off for my own personal break from Call of Duty. When I played Call of Duty 4, I stopped playing for a while so I can go play MLB The Show and then I alternated in between games. But starting in Modern Warfare 2, I stopped playing Cold Turkey just to play Final Fantasy 13. As soon as Final Fantasy 13 came out, I stopped playing Call of Duty altogether and I just managed to make it to 10th Prestige before Final Fantasy came out. I spent a month playing Final Fantasy and then returned on a quest to finish all the challenges in Modern Warfare 2. Two years later, I mentioned that I already left Modern Warfare 3, and I did it to play the Final Fantasy sequel. I had intentions of returning and going after all the challenges, but that game was just too fucking horrible to return to. I had hit 10th Prestige sometime in mid-January, so I was already fully ranked up with only challenges left to play for. We're now two years later, and once again, I am leaving an Infinity Ward made game for Final Fantasy. Yes, that is right. When February 11th rolls around, I will have a new Final Fantasy game. Although I'm expecting this one to be as shitty as the prior ones, I will be taking my break from Ghost in order to play Lightning Returns. And you have to figure I'm going to be playing that for a good three weeks or so. Although, I'm busting my ass trying to make it to 10th Prestige this time. I don't think I'm going to make it though because as of this video, I'm still quite a bit short from the 10th Prestige. Even though we just had the double XP weekend and it helped, I still think when February 11th comes around, I'm still going to be short of finishing all 10 soldiers up in this motherfucker. I'm sure as hell going to bust my ass and try, but I don't think I'm actually going to make it to 10th Prestige before I actually leave for Final Fantasy. Now, after I finish Final Fantasy, we're going to see about how I feel about returning to Ghost. As of right now, I am nowhere near the level of frustration I had while I was playing Modern Warfare 3. So, there is a very good chance that I'm going to be returning to Ghost after my self-imposed break. But, that's going to depend on a few things. First of all, this Final Fantasy game is going to be the last PlayStation 3 game I purchased. After this game, I plan on upgrading sometime down the road, and I really don't see a game worth buying on PlayStation 3 after this. I'm sure there are going to be some decent games still coming out, but my guess is this is the final PlayStation 3 game I will be purchasing before my upgrade. And I'm not upgrading immediately, so I don't want people thinking that come March or April they're going to see me on PlayStation 4. No, 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 no. I foresee me sticking out my PlayStation 3 through the summer since there's really no other game to purchase on the upgraded console. But the biggest factor in how much I return to Ghost will depend on Destiny. I don't know when, I don't know how long it'll be, but... The Destiny beta is coming and I have signed up to participate in that motherfucker. Matter of fact, I signed up for the beta on PlayStation 3 instead of PlayStation 4. I don't know if the beta will start in March, April, May, whenever, but when it does, I'm going to be testing that motherfucker out. I don't know how good it's going to be, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I have my fingers crossed that this is a game that I'm going to enjoy. Whenever this actually happens, I'm going to be playing Destiny over Ghost. That's not to say I won't return to Ghost. I just have to see the quality of Destiny and if it's as good as advertised. Destiny is also going to be the sole reason I moved to PlayStation 4. We know that the game comes out in September now and that's going to be the reason I buy my PlayStation 4. But in the meantime, I will have to see just how good the beta is and how that affects my Ghost gameplay time. Now, one final thing to mention, and one day this is going to get a full video of its own and an explanation and shit like that, is how much content do I have left to use for Ghost? As of right now, I have well over 100 videos that I would like to use in some form or another. I have plenty of games with me being on shitty teams, plenty of games with me handing out ass whoopings, and tons of shit for fail volumes, so I have a massive amount of Ghost content yet to post. And this actually serves a greater purpose in that while I'm away from Ghost enjoying other games, I still have a tremendous amount of content that I'll be able to use and keep people entertained with Call of Duty content. I mean, just look at this video. Look at my prestige level here and compare that to the fact that as of this commentary, I'm practically on my 10th soldier as it is. So it shows I am way behind on my videos and that one day I'm going to do a full video explanation as to why that happens in this manner. But in the meantime, to get back to the original point of this video, I will say, that in two years, I'm actually quite surprised that Infinity War was at least able to make a game 
that I feel comfortable playing. I didn't know if I would like it. I didn't know if I would actually invest time into this motherfucker, but surprisingly enough, I have enjoyed my few months on Ghost. Sure, I have my moments of rage and anger, but this isn't anything like Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 1 or World at War type frustration. It certainly isn't Call of Duty 4 level enjoyment, but it's merely a decent way to kill some time until a better game rolls out. Final Fantasy is about to release, Destiny is on the horizon, and I'm sure there are other games that are going to come along that I want to play and pull me away from this shit. But in the meantime, I have plenty of material planned, you've seen some of my old favorite series returning, and I have some new ideas for videos, some surprises in store for you guys, as I will continue to post up some ghost videos in the coming weeks and months. So, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.